Food for me was a source of relief. It was a way to release whatever stresses and everything else that was going on in my life. It's absolutely an addiction, no doubt about that. In 2016, I was in a horrific car accident due to my weight and size and health risk. At 429 pounds, said that they could not operate on me. I had had enough of who I was and I truly needed to change. Throughout the years of my stressing or my overeating or my comfort eating, whatever it is, I didn't want to admit to it being an addiction. And most of the reasons that my weight gain originally happened was just from my lifestyle of working 70 to 75 hours a week. I would be highly stressed, so, you know, donuts, pizza, whatever it is, it would cause maybe a euphoric effect for a little while. The uh, very highest I ever saw on a scale was when I turned 40 years old. I was 429 pounds. I went through an addiction throughout this process of alcohol also. It's, it, the food was as much an addiction as alcohol ever was. In 2016, I was in a uh, horrific car accident. We're driving just past where the accident was on the turnpike over here. This is actually the turnoff, and it happened just uh, beyond this point. We had just been done celebrating a business venture. I was in the car alone, and I had had way too much to drink. Right up over here is where the accident happened. So literally, it was about 6 o'clock in the evening, and I was coming back. And uh, it had way too much to drink, obviously. I was going about 120 miles an hour last time I looked down. I went to go ahead and turn fast to move behind a car. I grazed right over here or hit the center median. Well, what that caused me to do was bounce all the way across three lanes of traffic down into the ditch, into the ravine. I was lucky enough to basically come away with a a completely shattered knee, but uh, that was the beginning of the change. After my accident, my doctors gave me the warning of, if you don't lose weight, you can die. That's when I saw that I had got up to 429 pounds, and he had told me, you absolutely need total reconstructive knee surgery, but you're too much of a health risk for us to operate on you. It was May 21st, 2017. That was the last day that I had a drink and that was the day that I had decided that I had had enough of who I was on the inside and the outside and I truly needed to change. I drive past the spot multiple times a week. And for me, it's kind of like looking at my pictures, my before pictures, and reminding myself of my wake up call. Every time I drive by, I remind myself that I could be dead I probably should be dead, and how lucky I really am to still be here and have an opportunity every day to get up and do what I love to do. My goal from the beginning was to save my life. My health was beyond a mess. So that was, it was just self-preservation at the beginning. And then self-preservation turned into my health is getting better, let's get physically fit. At my heaviest, I weighed 429 pounds and could barely stand to be around myself. Since then, I've lost 210 pounds. My weight loss, yeah, I love it. It's what I do. It's now my stress relief. Going to the gym is my 90 minutes of my solace. It's my office. It's my time. I've been very, very lucky to have a lot of good people in my corner throughout this time. Keith has helped me taking things to the next level over this past 10 months. We, we gotta get to work. <laughs> and he put together a diet program for me to take things to the next level in a workout routine. Three. From a trainer Four. to best friend to a brother. Up. I consider him family now. Ten. Easy. Eleven. One. That boy. Perfect. I am Big Keith Williams. I'm a pro bodybuilder and I am Tony's trainer. I got with Tony about 11 months ago to step up his game. Let's just say that. Come on, drive. Come on, drive. Nine. Uh, come on, three. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, one, come on. Uh, Reset. Uh, 
He owns up to the things that he's done in the past. Every time we come in here, it's 120% grind. And up, 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 up. Bad boy. The mental transformation that I've had to be able to make the physical transformation, I've had to come to terms with who I was, what my addictions were, and how I was gonna fix them. The mental changes have been bigger than the physical. My one piece of advice to anybody that wants to lose weight is just start today. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You don't have to have a great plan. There is a community out there that wants to help. There's people that have done it that all they want to do is help other people do it. I have gotten more than my life back. I've gotten my life and much more than I deserve. <laughs>